Hey there, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com. Thank you so much for joining me today for another Stampin' Up! tutorial. So today, I am so excited. I have the new birthday organizer um, kit, well, birthday card organizer kit that I am going to share with you. This is from Stampin' Up!'s um, kit collection. And you guys, if you have not been paying attention to the kits collection, you should. The kits that have been being released are so awesome. I'm just like, I am so impressed with the kits collection. There's just so many to choose from and they've just all been really great. Um, so I was really excited when I saw this one uh, and I wanted to share this with you guys. And I will put a link to the kits collection in my online Stampin' Up! store. I'll put it in the video description in case you're interested in taking a look at what other kits are available. There are just, there's so many to choose from uh, and I, I love them, I really, really do. So first thing, the box that the kits come in. I just can't get enough of these craft boxes with the um, black stripes and then the black polka dots. I love these. I do not get rid of my boxes. Um, I save all of my boxes. Actually, I save all of the packaging from my Stampin' Up! products when they come in like boxes. Um, I save all of them. I have the top shelf of my closet is pretty much <laughs> pretty much empty boxes but I do go back and reuse them for gift packaging um, so a lot of my Christmas gifts are packaged under the tree and wrapped in stamping up boxes <laughs> okay so let's get into this kit I'm just gonna take everything out I'm so excited so first thing I see is a roll of tear and tape and let's get in here so I am trying to do better about sending out birthday cards um, I tried to send out cards on Fridays, not just birthday cards, but cards for different occasions, but I still need to do better. But um, this is going to be so great for birthday cards. I'm just so excited about it. Okay, so we've got we have got okay, glue dots, these pretty little adhesive sequins those are pretty so hopefully you can see those those are pretty and then dimensionals so these are our, our envelopes and we have two i don't know the colors yet let me see okay so it was on the other side of the cardboard piece so um the colors so here's everything that comes in the kit the colors are, here we go. Basic black, evening evergreen, petal pink, Sahara sand, and soft succulent. So for the envelopes, this is soft succulent, Sahara sand. Love when there's that little pattern on the envelopes. Then we've got our card bases. So you get to make two different card designs with this kit. So 12 cards. You're making six each of two designs. So you've got these pre-printed card bases. So again, this is soft succulent. Okay, very pretty. Ooh, and then black and white polka dot pattern here. And ooh, this is right up my alley. I mean, I love the, the colors in this kit anyways because black Black and white is just my thing. And then they threw in the little pops of the other colors. So I love that. Okay. And then we've got our pieces, um, our die cut pieces, which are for our different elements to build up the cards. So these just pop, you see, these just pop right out. Just like that. You can just pop these different, pop these different elements right out. So you've got... six sheets of those then you've got sticker sheets so um, English and then a couple of other languages it looks like but these have the months of the year um, for your um, birthday organizer and then these are sticker sheets this is for the um, sentiment on one of the cards yeah, for the one with the big, beautiful rose. This is the sticker sentiment for that one. 
You just peel those up. And then this is other languages if you wanted to use those. Okay, so some more die cut pieces for the cards. So sticker, uh, sticker sheet sentiment for the other card design. So again, those just peel right up. Okay, so then we have our beautiful birthday organizer. It's really, really sturdy, um, feels nice and sturdy, and I love the cover. It's just got a nice neutral feel. I really like it. I love that. I think it's really pretty. Um, the ring is really nice and sturdy, and it's um, large so that as you fill your um, organizer with your cards, it gives it room to be able to expand and hold the thickness of the um, notebook once it's all filled up. So, okay, you open it up, love that. I'm not sure what this space is for. Your name, I don't know. I don't know what this space is for, but we'll figure that out, I guess. But you've got a nice little pocket here with this pretty black and white um, print here. Then here's a pocket. You've got 32 lines here. Um, and space to put your month. So this is where your month stickers will come in. Um, put your month, put the names of everyone who has a birthday in that month, and then you can slide your birthday, a few birthday cards in so you're ready to go. And then again, you just keep flipping and you've got you know space for each month, 32 lines to write. Okay, pocket, 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 pocket. <laughs> Pocket, pocket, two more pockets, another pocket, and then a final pocket. So really nice, and you can see how that, how the um, ring looks. Really nice um, ring. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and let's let's jump in here and let's um, let's work on these cards get them put together. The great thing about this kit um, is it's stamp free, right? So this would be a great kit to give as a gift. You know, we have the holidays coming up. Great kit for a gift, great kit for a birthday gift as well. Um, just really fun. And, and if you're a beginner crafter, you've never done paper crafts or anything like that, this would be great since it is stamp free. It's um, uh, very easy to assemble. So this would be great for someone who's, you know, just starting with crafting or creating. Okay, so I went ahead and got all of my pieces all punched out and I'm gonna go ahead and start with this card, the um, soft succulent card. And I'm just going to um, give all of these a crease on the score line. Now, uh, if you don't have a bone folder, that's no problem. You don't have to, to have one. You can just do like this with your fingers and it's perfectly fine. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish these up that way. And I'm going to use my stamp and seal adhesive to put these cards together, um, but you know, you do have your glue dots and then you do have your tear and tape. So you don't have to use, you don't need any other adhesive um, other than what comes in the kit. You have exactly what you need, but just to make it quicker, I'm gonna do this. Okay, so for this first card, you just need a little adhesive on this little Sahara sand piece. You can see it's got some little faux stitching on there and it goes across the center of your soft succulent card base. Okay, then we need dimensionals on the back of our large flower here. And that is going to go doo -doo -doo, right about, just looking at the instructions, right about there. And then for the leaves, and then this little additional flower, they did the, they used the glue dots. I'm just going to stick with a little bit of stamp and seal. All right, so this piece We'll tuck right under here. Looks good. 
this one. Wait a minute. Right there. And then this one. Of course, I put all of my dimensionals in the exact spots <laughs> where these pieces are supposed to tuck under. Okay, then I'm going to add a few of these on my little um, adhesive sequins. So I'll do five of them. Oh, I forgot the sentiment. Let me grab the sentiment. It's your day. And they actually have it touching the flower, but I think I'm, I'm not gonna have it touching. I think I'm just gonna pop it right there. I'm fine with that. Ooh, I love that. And then let me do a couple more of these. So I've got three, I think I'll do four, and then five, just like that. That is so pretty. I love it. It's your day. That's really pretty. All right, so I finished all of those up, so they are ready to go. There are my six um, It's Your Day, It's Your Day birthday cards, so those are good. So let's go ahead and make the second design in this uh, kit. So that's with the polka dot uh, card bases. So let me just give these, I'm just gonna go ahead and fold all of these up. With this card, we need our card base. Then we're supposed to take these little triangles and put this one here and this one here. So um, instead of using my stamp and seal, I'm going to show you. Um, for this one, how they want you to use the tear and tape. So where's the beginning? Okay, so you literally just pull and tear. This tape is very easy to use. So you just lay it down on your pieces here. You get a piece to go over here. Okay, one more piece right here. And then actually, I think I will use a glue dot, maybe a couple to get into that corner. <laughs> okay, then some tape here. Ooh, that may be too much. I went too long on that one. I did, but that's actually good because I got the corner. I didn't get the corner on that other piece, so that's good. Okay. And I'm actually going to pop a glue dot in this gap and just take the backing off of those glue dots. Tiny little backings. Okay, now for the tear and tape, you just need the tip of some scissors or, um, whoops, I didn't press that down well enough. You do wanna press it good, but the tip of some scissors or a paper piercer will lift up that backing to expose the adhesive, but you do wanna make sure that you've pressed your tear and tape down well. So let me just peel off all my backings. And then on this piece right here where I went over the edge of that corner, all you have to do is just take that piece of tape that hangs over and just fold it onto itself so that it's not hanging over the edge. And do it again, fold it back there. And that way it's not hanging over. Okay, so let's add this onto our card front. Line it up carefully here. Nope, I wasn't ready, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. <laughs> okay, get the corner in there. Now I'm ready. Okay, and then take this piece 
match up the corners. Okay, press it down, okay? And then this is where this sentiment comes in, happiest birthday. And you just want to put that right about there and finish it up with some of our adhesive sequins. So I'm gonna do five again. So do one, two, put one there. And then two more. And that's the second card, really easy design. So I'm gonna go ahead and put together my other five of these. All right, so I've got all of those put together. Okay, so cute. And then those go with these soft succulent envelopes. So let's get our months added to our organizer. All right, so, and I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure what you put there. I don't know, I don't know. All right, so I've got my months and yeah, I'm just going to jump right in and I'm gonna start with January. So I wanna center this. I hope that's centered. It's not quite. There is very good adhesive on these, <laughs> by the way. Okay, January, February, February. <laughs> March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and lastly, December. All right, that is so exciting, you guys. Okay, so I actually went ahead and you can see how it kind of just expands out so nicely. I just popped some of my cards in just so I could see what it looks like once it's got some thickness to it. But yeah, it just expands really nicely. This is gonna be great. I'm so excited about this. So each month you can just open it up, take a look, who do I have? And you can pull out your cards and right away at the beginning of the month, you can just go ahead and get everybody ready to go and mail them on out and you're good. I love that, this is great. I'm so excited about this, you guys. Okay, so there it is, you guys, the birthday card organizer kit. I love it. I hope that this tutorial and seeing this kit up close was helpful for you. And don't forget, I've got a direct link to this kit in my online store down below in the video description. And also I will have a link to the entire kits collection if you're interested in uh, checking out what other kits we have available. So thank you so much for joining me today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned. I'll be back again very soon with another tutorial. Bye now.